Hello there, Sue Wilson. I have a fun cocktail card just to say cheers. And I'll show you what we'll be using. I'm going to accent with some small black dazzlers. Here is the 3D Cosmopolitan cocktail glass, and I'll show you what this piece is for um, when we get there. And I'm going to be using the umbrella and the straw from the cocktail glasses out of the necessity set. Okay. So I think I will show you this part first. This little unusual looking piece here has been designed to create a little bit of a bow around your glass with acetate. So I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to pop this in and give it a cut. You can hear it cutting through the acetate. You won't be able to use really thick acetate for this. It needs to be fairly thin. Our heat embossable acetate works perfect for this. And it gives you a couple little lines that you can bend right here. Let's catch the area. Just give it a nice little fold. And one here. There we go. So you've got the little bit of that shape of a cocktail glass. And I'll tell you what we'll do. Let me bring in a piece of copy paper here. Another thing I've gone ahead and done is I've taken some Dries Clear Cosmic Shimmer Glue and just to the edge of this, I've added a small bead of glue right along the top like that. And I've just put some ice snow on it. Okay. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry. This adds a nice little um, shimmer to the top of the glass, almost like you've coated a little bit of sugar around it. So it dries clear and just gives you a really nice little shine. So we're going to put that onto the glass, but I'm going to do a few things first. I'm going to add a little bit of ink, bring in some tumbled glass, and there's my smoothie. Just put a little bit of um, blue on the bottom of the glass just to make it look a little bit more like glass and right at the top rim ever so lightly okay and then I'm going to cut a background for my glass and I'll tell you what I'm going to actually use the glass itself I'm going to bring in some of this deep raspberry card cut this go and bring my glass over and what I want to do is I'm going to cut it at the bottom to make it look like the color of a cocktail and then I think I'll bring in my paper cutter to get a straighter line just bring it down a little from the top about like that there we go I'm going to glue this in place Not quite the color of a cosmopolitan, but, but close. Pop that down. There we go. And now we're going to add the, uh, the acetate piece. Now the way I do this is to add a piece of single-sided tape to it. Pop that side in. I'm going to get another piece of single-sided tape and put it around and then push it into the glass so it bows upward and then tape it down. There we go. Okay, and I've got a piece of mounting foam on the back here. So I'm going to bring in my backing and pop this into place. And I think I'll put it right, right about like that. There. I've cut an umbrella out of the same matching paper that I chose for the bottom and I've got a little pink straw. We're going to add those in. A little bit of glue here. Put that right in there. In fact, we'll trim a little bit off the bottom of that. Just at a little bit of a jaunty angle. And same thing with my straw. We'll cut a little bit off of that one. that into place. Push that right a little lower. Just tuck it underneath where we just cut the card for the back of the glass. 
like that. Looks good. I'm going to bring in my backing. I've just done a white with a little bit of a black uh, mat in it, very thin. There we go. Put that into place. I've got the cheers. I've cut this twice out of black. I'll use a little bit of spray glue on that. That should fit right up here. And I'll give you a quick measurement. Oops, let's pop that down. It's moved a little bit on me. There we go. And three of the dazzlers. I'll go ahead and add those, then we'll give you an overall measurement on the card, too. Right here, I think, is good. In fact, we'll go ahead and put glue in place. Pick those up. Pop them down. Give them a second to set up. I'll bring over my ruler while those are just gluing into place and we have the overall size on the card is six and a half by seven and a half inches. In fact, I'll give you a quick measurement on that inner topper piece. Five inches by five and three quarters. And there you have it. How quick and easy is that card? And I just think it's so fun to have that little three-dimensional plastic part of your glass coming out on your card. Hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget our show more button below our videos will list all the uh, items and products with the codes that we've used in the videos. Mm -hmm.